We are joined with Jamicia Hoyle. She is a professor from George Mason University. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, you're going to be talking about urgent health issues of our generation yes. um, and the implications for our families. So speak to us about what some of these are and what they have in common. Absolutely. So um, there are quite a few now that we're dealing with, but I would focus on three in particular. Definitely non-communicable diseases. So these are things like cardiovascular disease, respiratory infections, um, diabetes. We're really seeing early onset in young adults and children now, which is really the issue. So the implications to families is over time the economic loss, whether you have a child who's not ready when they attend school on the first day, or a teenager who has been consistently behind their whole time so they choose to drop out in maybe the early parts of high school, or a mother who consistently has to miss work because she's caring for her child. So you over time see a big economic loss to the family in the younger ages and that leads over decades. So talk to us about what some of the key points are that you want to communicate to the audience. Absolutely. So the biggest thing is really focusing on um, moving towards a more collaborative effort, what we call a One Health approach. So you're, you're seeing that is the central theme in the conference here, redefining what environmental health is. So the One Health project is really looking at moving towards where we all work together. So you have veterinarians, you have medical doctors, public health professionals, environmental health specialists all working together to really have sustainable change in healthcare. And talk about how we deal with these challenges. Uh, I think the biggest thing is having the right people at the table, knowing what the challenges are and how it affects people, um, really, really targeting in those, those populations and also creating a network of people, really focusing on educating the youth so that they are trained so that when the issues arise, whether it's a novel issue or a reoccurring issue, that we have new approaches to those issues. And why do you think it's so great that NEHA provides this sort of discourse to its members? Oh, I think NEHA is doing a great job there at the forefront of change that should have happened probably 10 years ago. We see so many things arise. We're seeing infectious diseases where the responses are too slow. We're seeing things that are happening over generations. Um, and I think NEHA is at the forefront of, the, of really being able to create a sustainable change here. Jamicia Hoyle from George Mason University, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you.